Yes, today we will solve a simple network by using Thevenin's theorem. Okay, so this is the network. Okay, and here it was asked to find the current in 3 ohm resistance by Thevenin's theorem. Okay, so we have to find the current flowing through this resistance. Let us assume this one as load resistance R. Load resistance R. Now, first of all, I am drawing a Thevenin's equivalent circuit. What is the Thevenin's equivalent circuit? All the sources are replaced with a single voltage source VTH. Single voltage source VTH in series with a single resistance RTH. VTH is the Thevenin's voltage. RTH is the Thevenin's resistance. Okay. And across these two terminals, these two terminals, load resistance RL is connected. Load resistance RL is connected like this. So what is RL? It is 3 ohms. RL is 3 ohms. So we have to find the current flowing through this load resistance IL. Current flowing through this load resistance IL. So to find IL, to find IL, we have VTH by RTH plus RL. VTH by RTH plus RL. So, what we have to do is, we have to find RTH and we have to find VTH. Okay. In the first step, I am going to find RTH. How can we find the value of RTH? So, RTH. How can we find RTH? In the first step, what we have to do is remove RL. Remove RL. Here, I am removing this load resistance RL and redrawing the circuit like this. This is a 5 ohms resistance. This one is 10 ohms and this one is 2 ohms, 5, 10 ohms and 2 ohms resistance and by short circuiting the voltage source. If it is a voltage source, we have to short circuit and if it is a current source, we have to open circuit. We have to consider open circuit. Okay. So here these two resistors 10 ohms resistance and 5 ohms resistors are parallel to each other and this parallel combination is in series with this 2 ohms resistance. This 2 ohms resistance. Now RTH Thevenin's resistance is given by parallel combination that is 5 into 10 by 5 plus 10 R1 R2 by R1 plus R2 and plus 2. So, which is equal to 50 by 15, 50 by 15 plus 2, 50 by 15 plus 2, 50 by 15 in the sense which is 3.33. So, RTH is 5.33 ohms. RTH is 5.33 ohms. And in the second step, what we have to do is, we have to find Thevenin's resistance VTH. Okay. So, to find the Thevenin's resistance. So, in general, what is Thevenin's resistance? Thevenin's resistance means... The voltage, open circuit voltage appearing across the two terminals, appearing across the two terminals. Okay. Now I am considering the circuit along with sources. And this is the circuit. Here also we have to remove the load resistance RL. 
this one is 5 ohms this one is 10 ohms and this one is 2 ohms so thevenin's voltage in the sense the voltage appearing across these two terminals this is thevenin's voltage vth so what do you mean by thevenin's voltage here simply the voltage appearing across this 10 ohms resistance voltage appearing across this 10 ohms resistance what is the voltage appearing across 10 ohms resistance that is c that is vth is equal to here we are applying voltage division rule voltage division rule v the voltage appearing across this 10 ohms resistance 10 ohms resistance means v r1 that is voltage into 10 by the resistance r1 plus r2 that is 5 plus 10 15 5 plus 10 15 that is G is equal to 3.33 that is 33.3 volts okay this is VTH VTH is 33.33 volts okay finally what we have to find is we have to find the voltage appearing across the load voltage appearing across the load that is IL IL is equal to VTH VTH what is VTH 33.3 VTH by RTH RTH is equal to 5.33 plus RL is equal to 3 so total it is 33.3 by 8.3 3 so which is equal to 4.0 amperes okay so 4.0 amperes is the load current appearing across the load 3 ohms load okay and vth is the thevenin's voltage which is appearing across the two terminals that is 33 point 33 volts and RTH is the thevenin's resistance that is 5.33 volts what is RTH RTH is equal to 5.33 ohms and VTH is equal to 33.3 volts VTH is equal to 33.3 volts what is the current appearing across the load that is 4 amperes okay so this is about thevenin's theorem thank you